Once upon a time, there was an old man who was known as a bamboo cutter. The old man used to go into the fields and take bamboos and use them for a variety of things. His name was Sanuki no Miyatsuko. Among the bamboo trees he was harvesting, there was one bamboo with a shiny root. The old man wondered why, and when he went closer to look at it, he found that the inside of the bamboo tube was glowing. When he looked, he saw an adorable baby about 9 centimeters in height, sitting inside of it. This is the first part of the story known to all Japanese people called Taketoni Monogatari, the tale of the bamboo cutter. The tale of the bamboo cutter is said to be the oldest Japanese tale thought to have been written around the 9th or 10th century. The story develops as follows. The old man brings home the girl born out of the bamboo and raises her carefully with his old lady. And the girl grows up to be a very beautiful woman. When she was old enough, wealthy suitors came to her house one after another, and eventually even the emperor came to her house to ask for her as a bride. However, she didn't accept any of the suitors' proposals and continued to weep. The reason for her tears is that she is actually a being from the moon, and the day when she must return to the moon was approaching. She was heartbroken about leaving the old gentleman and lady who have taken care of her as if she was their own child, but she returns to the moon. According to one theory, this story is a lesson that people's hearts cannot be bought with money or power. Bamboo is a plant that is very familiar to the Japanese. Not only does it appear in tales such as this one, it is also used as an ingredient in dishes, as wrapping materials for water bottles and food, and as materials for building houses such as fences. At Fukugonji Temple, bamboo shoots are harvested and cooked every spring and eaten as a precious dietary ingredient. Furthermore, because of the characteristics, properties, and appearance, bamboos also serve as a lesson on life and how to live. For example, there is a Zen term, Takeni Jogen Fushiari, bamboo with upper and lower joints. Each character represents bamboo having upper, lower, and joint. As you may have seen, the bamboo plant is divided into upper and lower sections by its joints. Human society has a similar hierarchy. There is no hierarchy in human existence itself, but there are upper and lower positions in society, like the relationship between father and son, or a manager or employee. So we have to be aware of our social positions and know how to adjust our behavior accordingly. Even between family and friends, whom we feel so comfortable with, we must acknowledge the joints, because the joints represent respect for others. No matter how close we are, even if we are family or friends, if we lack politeness, our relationship will not last. Also, bamboos may not be as strong as steel, but they are more flexible than trees, so even if strong gusts of wind blow, they are able to withhold themselves. This supple quality is what makes them strong. Isn't bamboo amazing? Bamboo has supported the lives of the Japanese people as a dietary ingredient and as a daily necessity. Bamboo also gives us hint on what is important in life. The depth of the bamboo plant and its shape and properties have also taught us spiritual lessons. So, Takeni Jogen Fushiari. I love this word because when it comes to life, the most important and necessary teachings can seem like they come from exclusive places far, far away. But like the bamboo tree growing in our temple, it's actually right there, beside and around you.